As you can probably imagine, simply understanding what a shell is and having a little bit of an idea how to use it will never be enough. You're actually going to have to get in there and start using the command structures and syntax. Now the basic idea behind a command is that it will allow us to perform some function, usually through a program or a script. Now, in addition to commands being probably the single most important piece of the Linux puzzle, it's also a huge piece of the LPI 101 exam. So if you plan on taking the exam or using Linux in any way, I can't stress how important understanding command structure will be for you. So anytime you execute a command, it's actually going to be passed to the shell, even if it's at a GUI interface. Now, performing the proper spelling of individual commands and file names is also very important. Because Linux is case sensitive, using various case options will actually perform different things in some circumstances. Now, another problem you might run into is it's not enough to simply call a program or a script. You might need to pass it options. For example, if you want to list the directories that are available in a particular directory, but you don't want to see the default view, you have options available to you to choose different views and different options. And the way that you pass these different parameters into a script or a program is through command switches. Traditionally, since the beginning, these command switches are called using a dash. So in the example we have here, we're going to say ls-l. So we're going to pass the dash l option to the ls command to tell it to do something other than what its default option is. You can also bundle or chain switches together by putting the various letter options after the dash. So let's take a look at some of the available commands. So we used ls as our example, so let's move forward with that. So the default option is going to tell us each of the individual file and directory names listed. If I want more information, then I might actually say, okay, well tell me what my options are. So tell me what my options are for the ls command. So if we only want to sort by version, for example, we can simply type in ls-v. We can also choose to list one file per line by using the dash one. So as you can see, there are quite a few options available to us that we can combine those and put them together if necessary.